welcome all uh, today i'll discuss uh, the importance of true stress true strain and where this true stress concept is used and why we do not use true stress concepts in mechanics of solids or strength of materials let's discuss all this in detail in about 10 15 minutes i'll try my level best to give the clarity on this first of all let us see what is engineering stress engineering strain which is also known as nominal stress nominal strain or conventional stress conventional strain okay the engineering stress or the conventional stress is given by the internal resistance offered or the load to the original area AO AO stands for original area similarly the engineering strain is given by change in dimension to the original dimension my dear students in conventional stress or engineering stress we deal with original areas similarly in conventional strain we deal with original length or original dimensions but that may not give us the correct picture we'll see how when we go to true stress true strain for example let us assume that there is a member and we have applied a load okay let the load be applied and let this be the cross section let this be original area and we have applied the load p right now when we talk about engineering stress we take original area let us apply load let the member get deformed and you know as it is a tensile load the length increases and due to poison effect the lateral dimensions decrease so therefore the original area changes hence engineering stress may not reflect may not give the correct sense of stress that's why instead of going for actual or, uh, original area we take instantaneous or at that time actual area similarly when we talk about true strain we do not take original length we take instantaneous or at that time length Chalo. now let us see the relationship between these two that is a uh, engineering strain and true strain okay now let us take a member let its original length be l naught l naught stands for the original length okay now let us apply load maybe tensile or maybe compressive doesn't matter now because of this let the member get deformed something like this right let this be the change in the dimension under this load delta l change in the dimension so the engineering stress or the conventional stress is nothing but change in dimension to the original dimension to the original dimension original dimension now can we write this as this change in length final length minus any original length by original length definitely we can write definitely we can write so change in length this total stands for final length this total stands for final length and this is the original length and this is the change in length so change in length is final minus original okay by original so this is given by my dear students so uh, separate this so this can be written as the engineering strain is lf by l naught okay minus l naught by l naught is 1 so 1 plus epsilon is equal to lf by l naught let us keep it safely we'll be using this in 
two strain. So the engineering strain is epsilon. LF and LO are final and original lengths respectively. So let us keep it and let me mark it as equation number one. Let us mark it as equation number one. That is final length by original length is equal to one plus engineering strain or epsilon. Chalo koi baat nahi. Now let's talk about true strain. This is engineering strain. Let us talk about true strain. Okay. Now observe here. Let's talk about true strain. This is the original length, okay, L0. Let us apply a load. Let the member get deformed, say, something like this. Let the member get deformed, something like this. Now, at that time, this is the length. Are yaar, at that particular instant, this is the length. Now, let us try to calculate the strain with respect to this. Now, after some time, my member has become like this. See, originally the length was L0. Now, the length is L. At that instant, at that instant, the length is L. Originally, it is L0. At that instant, it is L. Now, let us apply the load. Matlab, actually, the process is going on from original length to final length. In between, I stopped. Ar yaar, original length is L0. The final length is LF. In between, I stopped. Abhi chal raha process. Now, because of this, let the member get stretched. Because of, now, this is my instantaneous length. Okay. Let us apply. So let the extension be delta L. Very good. Please note down that the true strain is, now I write epsilon T, true strain. At that instant, the true strain at that instant is given by change in dimension to the original dimension. Don't take this. If it is engineering strain, I'll take original, but it is true. True means true at that time length. At that time length is L, but it is not L0. So with respect to this, I'm calculating what is change in dimension delta L. And at that time, what is the length L? So this will give me strain in this, in this. But I want total strain from where? From original length to the final length. So if you want the total strain, this is giving me small strain in a length L. In a length L. But if you want the total strain, you integrate this and my length is varying from where? Original length L0. My L is L0 original. My L is final length LF. So dx by x is log x. So true strain is given by log L. My limits are L O L final. So true strain is given by log upper limit minus log lower limit. So it will be log A LF minus log L0. Log A minus log B is log A by B. So therefore it will be LF by L0. Excellent. But just now I gave you equation number one. Hope you remember. My equation number one is I gave you. So true strain is given by true strain is given by LN L final by L original. So therefore true strain is LN. Just now I gave you LF by L0 is 1 plus epsilon. Already I gave this already in the form of equation 1, 1 plus epsilon. Please note down very clearly here epsilon is engineering strain and epsilon T is true strain. Excellent. Chalo. This is the relationship between true strain and engineering strain. Now let us do one experiment. Let's see which one is giving the correct information. Now let us do one experiment. Eight second. We know that the true strain is given by logarithm of 1 plus engineering strain. Logarithm of 1 plus engineering strain. This is my true strain. This is my true strain. Okay. 
let us take a member okay let the original length of the member be l naught or l whatever it may be let us apply a load let us apply a load so when you apply the load let us imagine the baba i have applied a load so that its final length is 2l Original length is L, final length is 12. For this member, let us calculate true strain, engineering strain. So, what is engineering strain? Change in length to the original length. So, what is the change in length? True engineering strain is always with respect to original length. What is the change in length? 2L is final length minus original length is L and the original length is L naught. Original length is what? L. So you will get the engineering strain for this member as 2L minus L is L, L by L is 1. This is the engineering strain. For the same member, let us calculate true strain. So true strain is equal to, just now you saw, ln 1 plus epsilon. So that is given by logarithm of 1 plus epsilon. What is epsilon? 1. So you will get a true strain for this situation as log 2. Let's see what is L into 0 0.693 kuch aata hai na? Yeah, 0.693. Excellent. 0 0.693. This is the true strain. Oh my God, there is a big difference between engineering strain that is 1 and true strain that is 0.693. Bohat farak hai. Now the question comes, which one is giving a correct information? Ek second. For I'll do one thing, my dear students. What I do is, I will safeguard this information. Is information ko hum rakhenge apne paas. Kya information hai? When there is a member, original length is L. When the load is applied, if the final length becomes 2L, if the final length becomes 2L, for this case, the engineering strain is 1 and the true strain is 0 0.693. This is the information. Now you apply, a mera member originally it was like this. We applied load and this, is, uh, this has stretched to this. Now ab usko le lenge. We'll take this member. Now. What is the original length? So I'll take this member. What is the original length? 2L. To this member, let us apply compressive load. So that after the application of load, now my final length is, let us say, L. So I'll write the final length. Matlab, hum kya kar rahe? Originally the length was L. We stretched it to 2L. We calculated true strain and engineering strain. Now we are compressing back to the original length. Original length. Okay. Now let us calculate in this case. Ye to chhod do, this case is over. In this case, let us calculate what is engineering strain. What is engineering strain? Final length by original. Change in length to the original length. What is the change in length? Change in length is always final minus original. Change in length is final is L minus original is 2L. And for this, for this, this is the original length. For this, this is the original length. So therefore, it is 2L. So epsilon is equal to kitna hai? minus L by L minus, minus 0.5. The negative sign shows decrease in length. Okay, reduction in dimension uh, 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 along the direction of loading. Let us calculate true strain. So what will be true strain? Logarithm of 1 plus epsilon. So true strain is given by logarithm of 1 plus what is epsilon minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 and this I am getting it as ln 0 0.5. So what is ln 0 0.5 log less than 1 is always negative and if I calculate it is 0 0.693 excellent. Now please my dear students if you observe originally the length was L we stretched it to 2L. Finally, we brought back to the original length. So originally it was length L. We elongated it to 2L. Then we compress and finally we brought to the same situation. So when we brought to the same situation, there is, should not be any net strain. 
let us see what is engineering strain giving us originally engineering strain is 1 now finally it is 0.5 so net strain add karo 1 minus 0.5 which is 0.5 now you add 0 0.693 true minus 0 0.693 if you add i'm getting zero. Oh my god so if you are uh, uh, stretching it to 2l compressing it to l back there is no strain yes the true strain is giving me zero but my engineering strain is giving something different value but there is no strain actually but still it is giving a strain means it is a false or wrong information that's why we need to take what original nahi we need to take actual instantaneous at that time because it is showing net zero it is showing some value which is not there l to l fir baad mein l so there is no strain but this is showing some engineering is showing some value now the question comes then why in mechanics of solids why in strength of materials why do we deal with engineering stress strain or conventional stress strain rather than true true is giving me the correct picture my dear students dekho ek bar engineering stress is given by engineering stress is given by load to the original area true stress is given by load to the instantaneous at the time area my dear students in mechanics of solids or in strength of materials please note down that our loadings are always within elastic limit and within elastic limits the deformations are very 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 small when deformations are very small the original area and instantaneous area is almost the same because deformations are very small in elastic zone in some all are within elastic zone so therefore as the change is very negligible these two are almost the same these two are almost the same that's why we take ori uh, original because the difference is very very less but when you go to metal forming there is a plastic deformation there are huge changes in dimensions large strains so when there is a large change in dimensions these two there is a big difference when there is a big difference this will give me true is giving me the correct picture that's why in metal forming we go for what true stress true strain but in strength of metals as it is within elastic zone and the change in actual and uh, orig uh, original and actual is very very small change in dimensions are very small that's why we do not go for what that's why we do not go for uh, true stress true strain but in metal forming as deformations are very large when deformations are very large change in dimensions are large when change in dimensions are very large we have to take there is a big difference when there is a big difference which one should be taken for accurate analysis it should be true stress true strain that's why in metal forming we go for true stress true strain rather than engineering stress engineering strain thank you my dear students god bless you all thank you for watching and i'll be coming with some more videos for quality uh, lectures so please tune into kulkarni's academy of mechanical engineering came classes thank you god bless you